We're back here live on Saturday night's main event with the Hasbro Jurassic World T-Rex has issued an open challenge to see if anyone could beat him. He's even killed and defeated champion Hulk Hogan earlier tonight. Well, McMahon, the T-Rex didn't defeat Hulk Hogan. Hogan defeated himself. And listen, I don't think there's anyone out there or anyone in the locker room that's got the balls to come out here and challenge such a beautiful looking flawless beast. Everyone is so cynical on the internet and complains about how Hasbro has messed up the Jurassic World line. But you see that the T-Rex is the champ now, McMahon. But nobody can touch him. Look at- oh, oh! You know what that means, McMahon? Uh, I do, Jess. That is The Undertaker. If there's anyone that can defeat the T-Rex, it's the Phenom himself. I don't think the T-Rex is phased. Look at him. He's not budging. That dinosaur isn't afraid of anything. The dead man's mind games aren't fooling the Hasbro anomaly. I think The Undertaker looks just fine, Jess. That man is over seven feet tall. Look at him. I think Mattel really has Hasbro by the ropes on this one. I don't think so, McMahon. You have too much faith in Mattel. You know they screwed up the Batman toys. And it looks like they're going to lose just like Hogan lost. You know Hasbro's worth almost $8 billion, McMahon. And for a reason. Their top franchises are Transformers and Star Wars. And you know as well as I do that kids love those shows, McMahon. Hasbro knows what they're doing. They're buying the big franchises and they're just sitting on them like Jurassic Park. They're forcing out the competition and they're turning it into a monopoly, McMahon. Kind of like what you did. So if anything, you should be on Hasbro's side with this one. Oh, would you stop it, Jesse? There's a reason I signed with Mattel. Their quality is far better than Hasbro's. Just look at that Undertaker figure. It is so detailed. It looks just like the Undertaker from 1992. So in my opinion, Mattel is very good. I would resign with them with the contract. Oh, look, look at they're going at it. And the Undertaker sprinting across the ring. And the T-Rex just dropped him. Rexy just dropped the dead man and it's all over. I'm sorry, McMahon, but Hulkamania died. I think Mattelamania is going to die too. Oh, wait, wait, what? What was that? Was that a two count? I, I heard three, McMahon. One, two, three. I don't know, Jess. It looked like a two count to me. Well, McMahon, you tell me. You hire the referees. Well, oh, wow, look at this. The Hasbro T-Rex getting right in the face of the referee. I don't think it's very smart getting the official's face like that. But look at the Undertaker. He's risen. And he bolts ahead. Oh, he just booted. He just booted the T-Rex's arm off, McMahon. I've never seen the T-Rex in such pain before. And the Undertaker now takes the T-Rex for a ride. Yes. I've never seen the T-Rex lifted off the ground before, McMahon. Cover and it's over. The Undertaker has defeated the Hasbro T-Rex. What a shame. Oh, give me a break, Jess. How is that a shame? Well, if Hasbro had more solid construction, we wouldn't even be here right now. The T-Rex would still be the champion, and The Undertaker would be dead just like Hogan is dead. But no, Hasbro just decided to get cheap on us. It's the Jurassic World Stop and Strike Tyrannosaurus Rex figure from Hasbro. Get ready for some prehistoric action. The Stop and Strike Tyrannosaurus Rex figure has a mighty dino roar. Chomping action. And stomping sounds. The Jurassic World Stop and Strike Tyrannosaurus Rex figure is for kids ages four and up. The Jurassic World Stop and Strike Tyrannosaurus Rex figure from Hasbro. The Stomp and Strike Tyrannosaurus Rex figure from Cash Bro. Listen to the crankiness of this toy. Doesn't it sound so durable? Because we video edit our commercials to make the clinkiness of the springs sound smaller than the actual electronics. Even though the electronics are very small compared to the springs. Chomping action. Chomping action. We're going to only photograph this side of the animal. Because if we switch to this side, you won't fucking buy it. Look how beautiful it is with those screw holes on the face. Look at those neck seams. Mmm, yum. And we know we're your favorite company, so we made toys that are easily breakable and have choke hazard items like this T-Rex arm that came off very easily. The Stomp and Strike Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. 
from Cash Bro. The Stomp and Strike T-Rex is dead. And I think I'm going to take back my Jurassic World toys. I think this is it. I think this is the final straw. I want to make light of the situation. No, the Undertaker didn't break off the Stomp and Strike's arm. His arm popped right off. He took his face off. So, I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking done. I think I have had it with this company. I think I'm going to take back my stuff. Let me run you down the situation. The other day I was watching the OC. Go ahead, judge me. And I was texting my buddy Chris, and I was on Twitter DMing Brysonator. I had the stomp and strike on my desk, and I was just holding it and stuff on the desk. So I hear a... Dun, 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 dun. I look down at my desk, and I see the T-Rex arm pan up to the sockets of the T-Rex. And I said to myself, did that just fucking happen? Now flashback a couple nights before this. I read a member on the toy forum said his arm came out of his T-Rex too, and I'm just like... Bullshit. I didn't believe him. But you know what, my friends? Seeing is believing. If you have this problem, you are not alone. Four nights. Four fucking nights. Actually, let me uh, get the receipt. Let's find out officially. I got the receipt right here. Jurassic World, $35. The date is the 18th, right there at the top. Bam, the 18th. Here is a screen cap of when I took a video to show Bryson Aaron, my buddy Chris. July 22nd. Four days. I was so livid. I took an impromptu video and I said, I'm fucking done. Do you want me to fucking take back all this shit and you make no fucking money off of me? You fucking pieces of shit. Fuck you, Ankylosaurus. Fuck you, Dimorphodon, even though you're good. Fuck the Pachycephalosaurus. Fuck your Spinosaurus. Fuck your Raptor Blue. Fuck your Ceratosaurus. Fuck your Allosaurus. The Junior shit's better. Fuck that Irex vehicle attack playset. Fuck this piece of shit. Stomp and strike. But now that I've cooled down, I'm still seriously considering taking this shit back to the store. Why? Because Hasbro doesn't deserve my money, and Hasbro sure as fuck doesn't deserve your money either. The reason I, I do this job is to tell you whether or not to buy these fucking pieces of shit or not. I guess I'm like the judge of whether you want to spend your $35 plus tax on this piece of shit or not. So like, you look up to me to give my opinion to you whether or not you want to spend this for yourself or for your kid or for whoever as a gift for somebody hasbro doesn't deserve your money don't buy this fucking shit you know i tried to stay positive i tried staying optimistic when anonymous collector first dropped those leaks on the jurassic park toy form i was not pleased a lot of people also weren't pleased but there was a lot of people saying oh my god these toys they look so good i'm like what the fuck are you looking at look at this spinosaurus it's missing half its teeth in its mouth the, the fucking chomping looked like a piece of shit me and a visaraptor were the only people who were just like people let's say something maybe they can change some stuff no they'll be fine they're they're just unreleased images they're just leaks they might change the positive police forced a Visaraptor to leave. I stayed, but that guy's fucking gone now. Time progressed. I'm just like, these still look like shit. They kept on releasing more images and they didn't fix the sickle claws and we were still yelling and nothing happened. So I, I caved into the optimism because I'm a very nice person. I like to stay positive and optimistic. So when the toys came out, I love them. I did that toy hunting documentary. That's actually why I'm here because that video first got me here. I was so happy that the toys were on the shelves just of, out of pure nostalgia. I mean, I haven't touched a Jurassic Park toy since 2001 when Jurassic Park 3 came out. And the kid in me came back. I was just like, yes, these are so cool. It was just nostalgia. That's all it was. It wasn't because they were good toys. I mean, I picked up every one of them, and I gave them all positive reviews. I totally should not have done that. I gave the Chomping Rex a 7. That toy deserves a 4. 
I gave the Spinosaurus a 5. That toy deserves like a 2. I gave the Stegoceratops a 5. That toy deserves like a 3. I gave the Basher Biter T-Rex like a, a 4. That deserves like a 1. So after the honeymoon period ended, like about a week ago, I decided to do that video. And I was just fed up with not seeing the shit on the shelves. Number 2, the shit sucks to begin with. I was like, fuck it. Time to air my grievances and voice my opinion. You want to know why that video Hasbro has killed the Jurassic World toy line has done so well? It's because you guys are thinking the exact same thing I was thinking. The exact same thing. These toys, they, they suck. And this Stomp and Strike T-Rex was the final straw. I know what you're thinking. Oh, big deal. The arm fell off. Pop it back in. Firstly, I can understand that. One of my big red Rexes right here, arm comes off very easily. However, I guess I expect that from a toy that wasn't mine growing up. I bought this second hand off of eBay in 2003. Also, this red Rex is 22 years old. 22 years old. This piece of shit, four days old. And it's broken. It's not just broken in the arm. It's broken in several other places for other people as well. This isn't just my problem, it's your problem. The neck. The neck is ripping already. Here's a photo of Leader of the Pack's neck ripping and his arm falling off too. But the opposite arm of mine. The tail is already ripping. I told you people in my review that this tail, if you had cats, would rip easily. Apparently just having it in your room will just tear the damn tail up already. Victoria from Victoria's Cantina. Her stop and strike T-Rex, here's a photo. Her tail is ripping. You know, my Red Rex may have had a broken arm before I got it, and they may all be destined to break. But at least when it's broken like this, it still looks badass. This is the greatest toy of all time, in my opinion. Even broken. I feel like the Stomp and Strike is so fragile, you can't take it out of the box at all. The neck will rip, tail will tear. And these are just collectors, just having them stand there. And this shit is tearing and breaking and falling apart on them. Imagine a child throwing this on the fucking ground one time. Boom! Hasbro bomb shattered explosions everywhere. The arm will pop off. This thing is a piece of shit. I fear the clanky springs is gonna fucking die on you. Let alone the arm coming off and choking your child to death. I'm gonna get to that later. Question Hasbro, do you feel test any of your stuff? If adults who don't even play with the things are breaking them, how do you expect kids to play with these things? Are these just disposable toys? $35, yeah, no problem, I'm a lawyer, I got money. Oh, you broke it after two hours? I got money, I'll buy another one. Oh, they're sold out? How the hell did this get past clearance to be sold to people? I don't even wanna bother with talking about the Basher Biters, those cheap motherfuckers. Those things are truly pieces of shit. So this toy is about to be recalled. A Target manager over at Jurassic Park Legacy and now the Jurassic Park Toy Farm has said a Hasbro rep has come into his store. The manager, being a huge Jurassic Park fan, knowing the Stomp and Strike T-Rex is a huge piece of shit, told the Hasbro rep about the Stomp and Strike's arm falling off. The Hasbro rep was apparently very concerned with this. She took a photo and the Target manager dude thinks they'll do a recall. Well, they fucking better. This is a choking hazard. I can choke on it myself, let alone a kid. This is unacceptable for a toy that I don't even play with within four days time sitting on my desk. It just stands there and dies. Joey, aka Bull T-Rex from Raptor Squad, said in our podcast the other day, I'm going to talk about that later, that his Stomp and Strike T-Rex fell on its own by itself right before he was going to bed or whatever. It was just sitting on the desk and sh I told you people that this center of gravity, the damn animal leaning too much to the right side was going to cause problems. It already does. Even having ginormous feet doesn't help this thing. If you want this piece of shit, keep it in the box. Don't touch it. Just keep it in the box. Just look at it. Keep it on the shelf. And don't touch the arms. It's sad that the Stomp and Strike T-Rex had the potential to be the greatest T-Rex of any Jurassic Park line. It does. Look at this head. It looks really good. But it's sadly one of the worst. Easily one of the worst. The Jurassic Park 3 T-Rexes were shit. This... Might be right below it. The sculpt is better, but the quality is the worst I've seen in my life. And those are some ugly ass sculpts from the JP3 T-Rexes. This thing beats it in shittiness. 
you know, at, at least the JP3 T-Rexes, they won't break on you. Such wasted potential on a beautiful sculpt here. It's backed by lazy internals and cheap materials. It's like if Hasbro gave us a slice of cake. And they didn't want us to eat it, too. Huh? Oh, I'm not supposed to eat this? If you want to buy a T-Rex figure, I suggest Kenner. I suggest Popo. I suggest Lego. Anything but a Hasbro product. You know I made that other video, Hasbro has killed the Jurassic World toy line, to start a chain reaction. I got lots of positive feedback because it was a video that spoke not only my mind, but your mind too. Gaming Beaver even saw and commented on it and said like, dude, good video is what I was thinking. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's take a stand for ourselves, okay? Somebody want to start a petition? I'll sign it. You want to go on YouTube and make a video? Voice your opinion. I'll click the like button and share it and all that shit. Do it. Do it. Come on. That's my best Shia. The only thing that's holding you back from doing it is you. We could have got this. Look at this dino damage. It's so pretty. Instead, we get this. We could have got this. We're never gonna get this. This feels like a real reptile. This is like a real lizard I'm touching right now. Rest in peace. But this was made by Hasbro. We could have got this. We never got it. This is what I was expecting for the new movie. Two years later, I'm like, yeah, we're getting more of this shit. No. So I'm seriously thinking of taking all my shitty Jurassic World toys back. Except keeping the Indominus bad boy and keeping the Dilophosaurus. Those are cool. Fuck the rest of them. I'll take them all back. Let's fucking go to the Jurassic World shit that I have. I'll keep the fucking Jada shit. Fuck the Mosasaur. Cool RC. Great Lego. Go fuck yourself, Hasbro. This d -Lo's cool. I might keep the d -Lo. Where the fuck was this? Where the fuck was this? This dino damage right here comes off. And when I put it on, I was like, Jesus Christ. Where was this for us? You know what? Fuck you, Hasbro. I'm selling all your shit. I'm buying Papo. So, Hasbro, you're done earning my money. First thing I'm going to do tomorrow is buy that Papo Spinosaurus. Because that figure shits on anything you've done in 2015. Your cheapness and your laziness can only go so far before we've had enough. And once you fuck up the face of the franchise three times this year, and then before that in Jurassic Park 3 in 2001 twice, it's kind of like, just give up the license already. I said it in the last video, but seriously, what the fuck? So I think it's time for Jurassic Park fans to spend their money elsewhere. So yes, I will have my cake, and I will eat it too. Let's go buy some Papo stuff tomorrow. Mmm. That was a horrible way to eat a piece of cake. I got icing in my chair here. Hasbro. This shit is so good. I never want to end a video negatively. So I want to say this. I thank you for a thousand subscribers. I have like 1,100 something now. But 1,000. That is incredible. That blows my mind. That is insane. I love you all. And I totally mean that. Like, there's this dude from Mexico, and he said that he watched my review of the JP uh, RC car, the Jada one, uh, Heyman Sheep one. And he said, hey, man, this thing's like thirty, like $3 where I'm from, and because of you, I bought that. And I was just like, holy shit, that's amazing. That warms my heart. You have no idea. That is the reason why I do what I do. Like I was saying earlier, I am the judge of whether you want to spend money on these pieces of shit or not. I have three of the most view Jurassic World toys of all of YouTube and only having a thousand subscribers I think that's a big achievement and I love you guys for watching it means the world to me and that you are the really the reason to keep going and doing what I do and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart so once again thanks for watching every Lego set including this guy is coming soon every Jurassic World tour review is still yet to air they're all pretty much coming soon stay tuned for those we're also doing some alien stuff some Jaws stuff Stay tuned for that shit. Last but not least, I just did a podcast with Raptor Squad. Those guys are freaking awesome. We had special guests myself. And Dino Reviews 101. Dino Reviews 101 is a very cool guy as well. Check that out. I'll put that as a link in the description below. Very cool podcast. Like an hour and a half of us talking about the, the positives and the negatives of the Jurassic World toy line. Once again, I love you all. Thank you for a thousand. Namaste. Rah.